What's up everybody, Mana here with your daily circle of the content. Uh, today is going to be a bit different uh, because I don't necessarily have the energy to be super, super hyped, super positive. I know I try to, I try to be positive and, uh, you know, uplift you guys as well. Like I don't want to make you watch a video where you, you know, you come back after a, I don't know, a hard day of work or something and you watch my YouTube to feel better than here I am, negative and so on, but I just feel like I I just need to like let it out of myself, I suppose. That's how I want to approach this current video, like the kind of the, the dark side of <laughs> of competition where uh, for those who, of you who don't know, Esports World Cup or the World Championship is uh, approaching right now and the last qualifier for the Esports World Cup took place uh, just a few days ago for it's literally yesterday uh, for me. The European part of the qualifier, uh, at least. And it had a life-changing amount of money in the prize pool. One million dollars for the entire tournament. The biggest prize pool in StarCraft 2 history. And even if you would just qualify for the event, just qualifying for the event would give you $15,000. That's life-changing money just for qualification. And I tried my best, my very, very best. The qualify there uh, because I knew I would not be able to qualify through points. It was too late for me to qualify through points. I probably knew that I would not be top four at like Dallas or other events or Katowice, which I didn't qualify for as well. Uh, so I the only chance that I had to qualify for this uh, for the World Championship was through the open qualifier, the European qualifier into the stage two qualifier. So from the European qualifier, only three players would qualify. And then from the stage to qualifier, uh, from eight people, only two would qualify to the main event at the Esports World Cup. So technically just two more players would qualify for the open qualifier. And, you know, I, I didn't have high hopes for this. Like, I, like w when, I, when I started to feel that I need to practice really hard to qualify, I knew I had to work really, really hard. But the more I practiced, the better I got, the more competitive I got with the very best players in the world, including, you know, like, Clem, Rainers, and, uh, and so on. I, I, I saw that I'm co competing with them. It's not like I'm getting my ass kicked completely, but, I mean, I did from time to time, of course, but I was able to take games of the very best Europeans as well, taking the series off of them as well. So I thought there's, there's hope. I played <laughs> literally thousands and uh, thousands of games in order to prepare for this qualifier. And I was feeling confident, and I was feeling good about my gameplay. I was actually feeling good about my gameplay because I, I, I found the strategies, I, I found the way that I want to play the games. Everything felt all right. I was prepared, I was ready for the qualifier. And I, I was looking at the, at my bracket and my bracket was uh, it was good for me. I had Moja in the first round, potentially DNS in the next round. Then I think I had... Uh, yeah, and then I had Lambo possibly. If I managed to win all the all the rounds, so the bracket was looking good for me. Didn't really cry about, uh, about that too much, but I had Lambo there, and the, uh, before the qualifier started, I was starting to struggle a little bit versus the Zergs, and I just wanted to avoid the Zergs, but I got Lambo in my future qualifying match. So I was a bit upset about that, but I would try my best no matter what. But <laughs> the worst really happened because I lost. In freaking round number one of this qualifier, I lost to Moja 2-0. Two to and like, no shame to, to Moja whatsoever. He's a, he's a good player. He prepared very well. He outplayed me in the series. He was the better player. But like, losing in round number one in the World Championship qualifier has to be the lowest of lows I've ever been. After <laughs> after practicing super, super hard for months, for thousands of games. And I was feeling, like I said, I was feeling good. I was feeling confident in my game. I was doing well. I really was doing well. And then I just disappointed myself before I even got the chance to disappoint versus potentially Lambo, you know? Uh, it was absolutely crazy. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like the... The pro gamer therapy right now. <laughs> Talking to you about it, it's it's really freaking difficult because right now esports World Cup was like the last event for StarCraft 2 that is known of uh, when it comes to like the ESL 
uh, Pro Tour. So, what I want to do right now, it's pretty much unknown. Like, I want to, I guess I want to continue, continue produ producing on YouTube. I will probably stream a lot of Stormgate once it's uh, in the early access, like the end of July, beginning of August. I think that's, that's the plan in here. But it was like the one event, one freaking event that I really wanted to try my best to qualify for because I had a chance to qualify for the open qualifiers and just we just fall short. Just fall short. And I know you guys will be like, ah come on, you cannot win them all, you know. Try to cheer me up and I, I thank you for that in advance already, but as a as a pro gamer, you know, when I when I was feeling so good about my play. After I discovered so many new things, I was feeling the groove, like I was actually doing well in my games. I really, I, I truly, truly believed in myself that I can do it, I can at least qualify to the second stage of the qualifier for the European one. But I had it in me, I was happy about it because I improved so much throughout the month. I feel like I went from like a completely mediocre player, I would say since like January or something like that, to a player that is competitive with the with the best. And I, I, I could see that improvement. And when you see the improvement, that's, that's already pretty good for you as a pro. And I was looking for that improvement. Ah, but it is what it is, you know. I don't want to make it look like it's all doom and gloom because, you know, it is competition. You lose one best of three <laughs> and, and you're out. And probably on a better day, I would, I would do better if there was another attempt. I'm not gonna blame the format too much because I don't think it's the format fault because it is my fault but losing one best of three after months of preparation felt kind of kind of odd well not odd but you know just disappointing I think I was like when I was actually losing versus Moja game number two I was more shocked than I was angry or sad because I truly couldn't believe that I could fail so hard much harder than I could ever anticipate myself failing this is, that has to be one of the most difficult uh, losses that I, that I had to endure, <laughs> to be honest. It looks like he wants to play Swarm House, my opponent, Skillus. He also had a very disappointing round one victory, uh, loss. He lost to Psionic in round number one. A Protoss that... <laughs> I don't want to say he's not very good, but like, compared to the very best, he is not very good. Put some swarm host. There are better players. Uh, it is what it is. I don't know. Let's just play. Try to hope. Try to win some games. We kill the Nidus here. Possibly. Queen. Yeah, let's just play some games and figure out what's next. Figure out what's next, guys. It's okay. It's just a world championship. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do we'll do better next time. We'll do better next time. I need to protect the expansion here. Actually, if I lose the skill of Zerk, that would be kind of embarrassing. Okay. I need some spaces. Wait, I need to recall, no? I cannot recall because I recalled something. I'm not sure even what. Please don't kill the forges. Oh, he's gonna kill the forges. Oh, that's so sad. My 2-2 is about to be done. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that is indeed very sad. Okay, so he's trying to expand here. You must construct additional pylons. Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Not the best blink of my life. That is for sure. Oh wait, I lost the Polycast, so I cannot make 2-2. Two, two. That's crazy. Actual craziness. Two more stuff here. I have a Stasis Ward, maybe he will fall for it, I'm not sure. I think he will see it. Right? He will see it. He's gonna kill the Nexus. He's gonna kill the Nexus. Sage. 
Such and such. Oh, we gotta try to win this one then. I mean, I'm like lower on supply than I was before. I can't produce any units, man. I'm so supply block for like forever. He still has swarm host. I feel like I've been producing for five minutes. Some stalkers. Links? What? Where did they come from? <sighs> he cannot kill the Nexus here. I guess he's gonna make Vipers or something. I need to make some Archons. Can I blink through here? Feels like a risky move again. He has lurkers now. Cannot do that. Okay. Gotta hold on. I still have some stalkers here to defend the potential swarm host. Stay here. Make some archons, maybe. I don't lose the stalkers, though. Right, at least we have some economy now. At least we have some economy. So to be a bit more active. We have 2-2 two, two now, which is good. He's gonna have to use Abducts to win the fight, I think. Viper. Oh, what? What is this? Do we counterattack? No, we defend here, right? We have to defend here. It's not a fight we can win. My friend. He has a lot of supply in, like, Swarm Host. And shit, I think. I need charge. Some gas. I really need gas for plus three. Am I not mining gas? What is this? Oh, I'm not mining gas. <laughs> In the main base, actually not mining. Okay. some lurkers here move out of the main army now i don't have any anti-air there but i think it's fine should be fine yeah i mean this is a single best of freaking really ruin the chances of a pro player you know it's a, it's really the dark side of competition the, the side that you don't see <laughs> the pro game is trying their best and i know everybody is trying their best there's only a limited amount of places to compete in and well the best players have to compete and I was not one of the best players at that day. Which of course is sad but it also reminds me to try to keep on working on myself more and more and more. So maybe Tempest here. But Coast is just disappearing. It's not the fight. Hello, what is this Bora? Mm -hmm. Not quite the fight I was hoping for. I just lost the entire thing. Didn't we? Oh, I have charge now at least. Kill the Viper. This one lurkers. I'm kind of low here. Some hydras. I can maybe make some carriers. There's hope. If two oracles. Oh, 
in here. We got a counter attack, I think. Maybe Karius is the play. We go here, counter attack maybe. Not gonna be easy. He's reinforcing with Hydra, so that is also a problem for us. We gotta make the corner bases or something. Well, I have nothing here. I have absolutely nothing. I can tell I'm. I was fully focused for this game. That's for sure. Hmm. Maybe maybe the carriers can can do wonders. Okay, let's go. I gotta defend here. He has no overseer. He's gonna kill the Cybernetic Spores. I actually have no damage, I don't have plus one here. Can I kill something? Probably not, no? Feels like I cannot kill much. I don't have Templar archives either. Losing some lurkers here, that's nice. More lurkers dead? Okay. That is a start. Oh no, what this one was? That's one host, man. Does he have no spire or? I have no spire. I think I have nothing to do with the Hydras, to be honest. I have no upkeep, I'm barely dealing damage to the Hydras. If I had plus two, then maybe. We'll transfer some probes. That's a lot of Hydras. I have six carriers, that's all I have. This is all I have. It's not good. Not good. Oh, he has a Nidus here as well. Maybe recall to this. Hello? Woo. I think the Hydus are gonna win this fight, no? If I had any upgrades, then it would be a different story. I have literally no upgrades. Uh, we're gonna lose some carriers here. That's four carriers down the drain. That's GG. That is GG. 177 supply. Yeah, that's okay, but I just... You know, I just wanted to talk to you about it. You, you see what I mean. <laughs> you can see I'm, I'm not feeling... Not feeling too well here. But it's okay, let's let's play one more game at least and try, try to focus on showing a better gameplay. This was more about me trying to talk to you about it because even look look at this like seriously if you take a look at my Ali Gulag by the way right before the qualifier right before the esports world cup I actually hit my all-time high an all-time high right before that June 26th this is where I got right here I was feeling really good with my shape and I was not able to make it it's such a disappointing result 0-2 versus Moja and the bracket was looking like this. Moja into DNS, into potentially Lambo. I was thinking that I would maybe likely lose to Lambo. And I would be okay with it because Lambo is a great player, better player than me. And I would be completely fine with losing to Lambo. And that would be a, a fair loss, <laughs> I would say, for me. But losing this first round has completely broke my heart, my months of preparation. Ah, tough luck, tough luck, guys. <laughs> I was also looking at the at the rankings the other day, and I just noticed I also had the, the most amount of games out of all the top players uh, in Grandmaster. I have pretty much like more wins than people have games combined, and I have also a lot of losses. I've been I've been really grinding my hardest in order to practice. And of course, there are some custom games as well, and everybody's playing custom games as well. It's not like I probably played the most out of everybody, but 
I just noticed that on the ladder as well, that I have pretty much the most amount of games out of almost anybody in the top of Grandmaster League, or maybe even uh, everybody. I don't see anybody with more wins than me in the top Grandmaster. But these stats, of course, mean absolutely nothing. It doesn't matter if you play 1500 games or 2000 games, if you're not improving uh, a lot, uh, if you're not seeing the progress of that. Doesn't matter. I, 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 like, I'm sure Clem playing 10 games, for example, versus me playing 150 games would still be better, uh, better than me, and would still beat me. But the, the, the thing is, I actually did feel the improvement in, on my side. I was able to reach rank five the other day. I was like 6.7k uh, MMR, and then I, right before the qualifier, I started dropping a little bit, but not as much, and I was still feeling confident about my skill level. <laughs> we got a turn and we got a victory guys, so that's my constellation price. <laughs> Man, what is this? They just give me free MMR. Let's just play the game. I want to play. <laughs> because skill is Protoss versus Protoss right now. Alright, let's try to kick his ass. Let's try to keep the spirits up a bit, at least in this video. I don't want it to be all doom and gloom and yeah, once again, you know guys, I just apologize for being no, sad, not trying to make your day better or anything like that. I just wanted to get it off my chest because, it, you know, Starcraft means so, so much to me. I've been playing this game for, what, 25 years, maybe more? Professionally for over 20 years? And I still have the passion and hopes for that, you know? <laughs> it just means so much to me and... For me, just also as a person, you know, I'm a competitive person. When I fail in the competition, when you try your hardest, it's it's just it's just hard. It is, but it's the nature of competition. Somebody has to lose for somebody to win. And uh, that day, some people were very happy about their performance, and some people were destined to have heartbreaks and so on. So it is what it is. We just have to continue moving forward, and I really, really, really hope that we will have another ESL Pro Tour next year for Sarkov 2 that we will actually have some kind of circuit and that I will be have I will have like another chance for a for a world championship qualification spot at least but that is that is it that is it let's uh, actually focus on the game right now try to win try to play our best since we lost versus his Zerk we need to beat his Protoss now for there to be balance in the world <laughs> What do we play that one? Oceanborn. Do we play? Do we play a Robo? We could play a Robo here. I know Skillos has been a big fan of Robo himself recently, I think. Let's play Adepts. Adepts into Robo, possibly. Should be good. I actually do wonder when they are going to be announcing the, the next EPT. If there's going to be a next EPT ESL Pro Tour circuit. Oh, there's a, a cheeky little Nexus. Okay. Okay, Nexus as well. My guess would be at Esports World Cup that they will announce that, but somehow, some way, I am a bit afraid that they will not do that and that we will have to wait longer. And the longer we wait, the more concerned I am. But I think, I, I hope we will have another circuit like that. But I don't know how it's going to look like. Well, let's try to find some damage with the Adepts. And let's get a Robo. We can get in here probably, yeah. And these Adepts. <laughs> Sneaking in. What do we have here? A Robo as well? Oh, it's a Robo. Nice target, uh, nice uh, micro mark actually. We have a couple of sentries here. For no apparent reason. And get. Actually, I could get a stargate here, possibly. I'm sure if that would be a good choice. That's a good start for us, that's for sure. That is a very good start. But the question is, am I using the start well enough? I think I have to take a, take a base here. Make this more worthwhile. Because I have a lot of money floating. Gonna boosting our probes. 
He moved out to the sentries, I feel like. He must have. Got a battery here. Yeah, there he is. I don't think he knows these are fake stalkers. <laughs> He's running away. I like this. The fake out works. Fake stalkers drive him away. I mean, it's not like he had a huge army here anyway. He had like three cent. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, he has a prison here. Oh, it's a bad move. I'm actually supply blocks here. I just realized. I cannot produce any unit. I have to cancel this. Uh-oh. Yeah, supply block, man. Oh, I am supply block. Oh, this is really tough. This is really tough. He has more. I thought he's not gonna be landing here. If I'm gonna be honest. Very good force placement. I definitely underestimated that. Definitely, definitely. I think it's time to GG out now. There's one more force field. Nothing we can do here. Man, this really is a terrible day, isn't it? <laughs> this really is a terrible day. I mean, I should. I definitely underestimated that. I have what? Plus one? I have any any chance with that? Probably not. I don't know. Just bring probes. Let's go. Let's go, probes. Better try. With plus one. I actually cannot produce anything. I, I, I'm liking that he's gonna kill some of my probes here because I can actually produce some sentries here. Something. Let's give a battery. He does, but in the wrong. That's the stupidest fight ever. It truly is. No! <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> GG. I, we, we had to try, we had to try. It was stupid. <laughs> GG. Okay, we got this one. We got a PVZ on Crimson Court, so... I can kind of confidently say that we are going to be queen walked on this map. Oh, please don't disconnect. Come on. Give me a game. <laughs> what is happening? I cannot play versus anybody else than Skillers today. By the looks of things. Oh, okay, he's back, he's back. Good. Thank god. Well, we might have a game on our hands. Let's try to just think of a way to play a decent game right now. To at least end this sad and uh, depressing video. With a little bit of sunshine at the end. Because when there's rain, there's sunshine after the rain. Right? That's what they say? There's a rainbow after the rain? I don't know what this saying is. The point is that there has to be some hardships has to be some hardships. Let's block this guy. I don't care. I don't care if this is bad for me or not. We can probably win the fight if I block with the pylon. Never mind. Gonna still take this hatch? No way. Okay, this took the normal hatch. All good. I just don't want him to get a reinvestment, guys, and creep spread immediately. Mm -mm -mm. Can we play like a disruptor drop or something here? Something fun. Possibly. On this beautiful day. Um, it's actually slightly late, but it doesn't matter. Because it's in a normal position. 
But I cannot really get much harassment done with the adepts. Possibly. I was trying to figure out what build to do. I'm, I'm thinking about Disruptor Drop. This is a decent map for it, but... Yeah, maybe you can do a Disruptor Drop into a, a Colossus push. On two base, pretty much. I think this is a, a good idea. I did beat Raynor with this in the ESL regionals the other day. But that was when Raynor was playing from Korea, so I was just making use of the, of the ping. Really. But with this build, you kind of trick the Zerk a bit to thinking this is a Stargate because you delay your warp gate in order to get a Stalker and a robotics facility. So when the Zerg sees there is a delayed warp gate, they're like, uh-huh, you need that extra 50 gas for a Stargate, where in fact you're just a loser. And you're making a Stalker first to drag the Overlord away. The problem with that is, though, is that you still need an Observer to kill this Overlord. And then they'll know it's another Stargate. Can I kill it? Nope. I cannot. I just want to get that robot as soon as possible. There we go. You also need the gases very quickly. For that. Get an observer. Observer is necessary to, uh, to track the, the queens. And the creep. Also need a warp prism. Let's get that prism. I don't necessarily want to kill this overlord right here and then. I want to kill it with a prism probably. Because if I if he sees an observer first, he knows it's not a glaive's build as well. So he's very likely to be more confident about defending this. Yeah, let's get it. A depth here. And now we want to the disruptor yeah so far it's going good see the disruptor because he's already taking the gas no he's not taking the gas yet but he's eventually going to do it does need to be very effective with the warpism ideally he's making bailings that's, that's interesting he's, yeah he's defending the the, the glaives build <laughs> it's not a glaive I actually do need to kill a probe because i'm supply blocked and disruptors are freaking four supply right now I forgot about that. So I planned free supply instead of four. So there's an overlord. Oh, he's gonna see this. He's gonna see this, okay. Fine by me. Get some sentries. Gonna be playing a long two base game here. That's the plan at least. Got a Colossus. Because he's making... Uh, Oh, please don't lose the internet. Come on, man. Let's play the game. I made a build already. Don't do it. Come, come back again. Please. No problem, my friend. So we need to find damage with the disruptors right now. And we're going full on ape mode. Here, basically. He's making banelings. What is this? Decent shot. I don't mind this yet. Please. Please lose units. I don't mind this. Whatsoever. That was bad for him. Super bad. You gonna run the drones now? Hello? Are you running your drones yet? They're attacking. Oh my god. Oh. That was good. He still has no role for him, by the way. I'll probably come here. Closer. I'm here in the shadows. Got a queen. It's a safe kill. That is a safe kill. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I had a package at the door for my dog. Okay. Oh, well, we did a lot of damage with the shot. I didn't bring the model. No. What is this? I mean, this game is over, no? Awesome. 
terrible disruptor shots though. These are some terrible disruptors. Why am I making a batch right here? Where's the model? Just going, going down for the disruptor. Not gonna get it. Big shot. Oof. Big shot. Oof. Okay. Bit of more. My pro. Yeah, I need a bit more force though, I feel like. Like we're like doing well, but not well enough. Couple of forces, one for suit. Okay, Biles are kind of hard to deal with. Oh, big shot! Ah, not quite. This one is gonna be big. Two ravagers, and oh, I didn't lose the prison. Uh, didn't lose the disruptor. Okay, let's just recharge. Okay, warp in. No, three disruptors. You can go from the left side now, no need to go this side. Wanna boost. He has no base. <gasps> Get some sentries. He has no way of approaching me here. We're gonna lose links every time, GG. We're gonna lose every links every time. And the rotas as well. 120 supply to 84. So at least <laughs> we win the last game with a very funny strategy. That's an old school strategy. Uh, I think uh, Zaun, the, the Korean Protoss, not necessarily invented the strategy, but I remember him being very good with it. 24 kills on the Disruptor and 9 on the other. They survived a long, long uh, journey in, here, in this game. And they did very well with the harassment. Killed some drones, killed some links, killed some roaches after that. Successful disruptors. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today's episode. Yeah, just like the, just wanted to vent a bit, really. Like, I, I don't think I wanted to show like good games or anything like like that. I don't think I really had anything in me to show good games today. It was not about that. I just wanted to express my feelings to you guys, show you. I don't know, just just my feelings. I guess I suppose. I, I don't know. I don't know why I really did that. Maybe I just needed to do that, and maybe that will make me feel better uh, in the future. Uh, I'll be back with more content, of course, in the future, but today I just didn't have the energy, I didn't have the hype, the happiness in me to share with you guys, and it's just today one of those, one of those days, you know? Uh, I hope you guys en enjoy my content no matter what, and uh, I'll see you next time in the next episode of whatever I upload, and stay happy, guys, don't, don't, don't be sad, don't be sad, <laughs> stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys, bye-bye.